As a necessary prerequisite, I must begin with this special right granted to the Palestinian people in the League Covenant. The legal right of self-determination of the Palestinian people originates in the sacred trust obligations of Article 22 of the League Covenant, part of the Versailles Treaty. Palestine, an A-class mandate under British colonial rule, was, after the First World War, supposed to have its existence as an independent state provisionally recognized, a sui generis right of self-determination. The UK and other members of the League Council attempted to bypass this, incorporating the 1917 Balfour Declaration commitment to establishing a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine into the instrument stipulating how the mandate would operate. However, the Council had no legal power to bypass the Covenant in this way. It acted ultra virus, and the relevant provisions were legally void. There was and is no legal basis in that mandate instrument for either a specifically Jewish state in Palestine or the UK's failure to discharge the sacred trust obligation to implement Palestinian self-determination. After the Second World War, a self-determination right applicable to colonial peoples generally crystallized in international law. For the Palestinian people, this essentially corresponded to and supplemented the pre-existing covenant right regarding the same single territory. The 1947 proposal to partition Palestine was contrary to this, the Arab rejection and affirmation of the legal status quo. In 1948 then, Palestine was legally a single territory with a single population enjoying a right of self-determination on a unitary basis. Despite this, a state of Israel specifically for Jewish people was proclaimed in 1948 by those controlling 78%, more than three quarters of Palestine, accompanied by the forced displacement of a significant number of the non-Jewish Palestinian population, the Nakba catastrophe. This illegal secession was an egregious violation of Palestinian self-determination. Israel's statehood was recognized and Israel admitted as a UN member despite this illegality. Israel is not the legal continuation or successor of the mandate. This violation of Palestinian self-determination is ongoing and unresolved.